everyone and welcome to Bill Green's Maine. This is the time of the year when fishermen really catch the bug. Now the first guy we're going to meet tonight, when he catches a bug, he eats it. His name is Macaulay Lord and he's an instructor of fly fishing instructors. He believes that fly fishing isn't just about catching fish, it's about being in the environment. And to make his point, he eats what the fish eat. You gotta see it to believe it. Macaulay Lord's idea of a good time is drifting down the Androscoggin River on a float tube. In fact, any kind of fly fishing is fine with him because any kind of fly fishing puts him in the environment. We live in a wild world. We, we, we do not live in a house in a subdivision near paved roads. We live in a place called the Earth, which is green and has oxygen and CO2 and water and an atmosphere and tens of billions of wild animals living out there. That is a central theme when he instructs fly fishing instructors. Oh, he teaches them to double haul, shoot line, and keep a tight loop. But most importantly, he wants people to enjoy the natural world. To demonstrate what he means, Macaulay took me to a nearby stream. Here we put the rods away so we could look at what the fish eat. To find bugs, you've got to know where they hide. At hiding places when you were a kid. You, you know, you and your buddies built forts, right? You know, you'd look at something like this and you'd say, oh, we could put some plywood up there or dig a hole over there and we'd have a little fort and a hiding place. There are no hiding places here. And, and bugs crave those hiding places. Soon we found all kinds of bugs, but then something strange happened. When we found a caddisfly, stonefly, or nymph, Macaulay surprised me by eating it. These things that we eat in streams are edible. These are, this is food. Great protein source, good fat content, carbohydrates, everything you need in food is in these aquatic insects. So we twisted our way downstream. We wanted to know what was in there, what the fish might be eating. Now I may have lost a few moves since the twist was popular, but I think the extra weight makes up for it. It's good. I'll let it settle a little bit. We found dozens of bugs. If they were edible, like this stonefly, Macaulay ate it. They're tasting more and more like sashimi to me, the raw fish that you'd get in, a, you know, the Japanese restaurant. After a while, Macaulay thought I should give it a try. I have to admit, I chew very quickly when I have a living insect in my mouth. But it does taste like you've eaten something. And oh yeah. It has a taste. Things happen in your body that you think, well, I've, I've eaten a little something. Macaulay studied entomology. That's insects. He knows which ones are safe to eat. He's also taken the Navy's winter survival course. Macaulay emphasizes that even if you know what you're doing, you should wash bugs in clean tap water before eating them. I think I like the caddis best. Hey, look at this midge. You know, that's not a midge, that's uh, some sort of, I don't even know what that is. Almost like an aquatic centipede, kind of a hard worm. I'm not going to eat that. Macaulay eats bugs for a reason. He wants people to remember that fly fishing has taken them out of the unnatural everyday world and put them back in the environment. Macaulay has been teaching for 15 years. His book is considered the best around by many and his clinics and lessons are extremely popular. He thinks the key to successful teaching is connecting with people. Maybe the most important thing is that you have to be able to be really, really happy when somebody does it right. That's what Macaulay Lord often does. He catches fish almost everywhere and in the process teaches people that when we slow down and really look things over, we will realize what a spectacular world it is that we live in. Beautiful. Some stories don't need good writing, don't need fancy editing, they just need a guy eating bugs. Thank you, Macaulay.